today at Patriots Park where James Viejas De La Rosa would and should have been playing baseball and where the Viejas De La Rosa family spent their Easter's. But we stand here today at Patriots Park for a different reason. And the reason is to remember the life and to honor the legacy of James Viejas De La Rosa. Today, we announce the filing of a civil rights complaint on behalf of James's family in Kern County Superior Court for the wrongful death of James Viejas De La Rosa and for the disgusting and morbid acts that followed when a BPD officer manipulated and tampered with James's body. Today, we move one step closer to justice. Today, we move one step closer to change. Today, we move one step closer to holding BPD and its officers accountable for their conduct. James was a 22-year-old. He loved baseball and church. He loved football and the Rams. His social media had quotes from the scripture. He was a contractor by trade, a family man by nature. He loved his family, and his family loved him. I have had the privilege of speaking with James's friends who describe him as thus. James was a ray of hope in our community. He was funny, he was charming, he was the type of kid who stayed out of trouble. He was an inspiration. But James was taken from this world as no man, woman, or child should, struck down at the prime of his life by corrupt, depraved, and excessive abuses by the Bakersfield On November 13, 2014, while driving his mother's Jeep back home, James was cornered by BPD officers who escalated a routine stop into a SWAT team-like extraction. Officers drew their guns, standing 10 to 20 feet away from James and pointed those guns directly at his head. What happened next is not a matter of question. It's not a matter of allegations or conjecture or he said, she said. It's a matter of fact. It is a matter of public record, which is why we took painstaking efforts in the complaint of the complaint, not just to make allegations, but to include the public records, to include the police reports, to include the witness statements. Eyewitnesses report the following. James was ordered to place his hands in the air. James' hands were at all times spread in the air. James was between 10 to 20 feet away from officers, at which point one officer
officers that this just wasn't anybody at Kern Medical Center, that this was the victim of an officer involved. Sit down, you'll get Regardless, a senior BPD officer who was not at the scene of the incident, who had no privileges, rights, or connections, defiled James's body, disturbed his spinal rest, and manipulated his body. That senior BPD officer bragged to a female subordinate in morbid satisfaction as he stood in front of a lifeless body of James announcing, I love playing with dead bodies. I love playing with dead bodies. This sick and disgusting act was never reported to the family as it should or their attorneys. We learned of this in April, the same way that the media did when we read the national headline, Tickle Tickle, a Bakersfield officer plays with dead bodies. This was an unthinkable exclamation point to an unthinkable killing. No one can appreciate the strength and the willpower of those who stand behind me today to hear this news and to continue this fight. Their inspiration is clear. It's James Viejas De La Rosa. While Tickle Tickle was the national headline, and while we are encouraged that national attention has finally been brought to Bakersfield and the dozens
Will they bump? Yeah. Thank you very much. The next speaker is Serena Gonzalez. James.
my uncle, but he was more like a big brother. We grew up together. He was everything I knew when I was little. Him and Greg. Him and Greg meant a lot to me. As I grew up into an adult, well, as, he, as I grew up into a teenager and he grew up into an adult, we became best friends. I would tell him everything. I was upset one day, and he told me, chin up, mama. And I, and I told him, I know I'm trying. He said, either you can, either you can keep your head down and not notice God's lessons all around you, or you can look up and embrace them. You're a strong young woman, mama. You can overcome anything. Let me know if you need anything. I'm a text away. I don't care what it is. You want to take a road trip to Disneyland just for some Mickey Mouse ears? Let's do it. Just give me the word. Love you. You'll be all right. Memories like this I will cherish. When I walked out the doors, he was the first one I saw. 